Well, you guys, we got a few days to kill. When we came back from the mountains, it was not only to recoup and whatnot, because living in a 19 foot camper with three small children, but also to restock supplies and order things that we need and all that. And also get the cabin. So with that all being said, we are still waiting on our interior doors, which they should be in in just a few days. But so I'm not sitting around with my thumb up my butt. That's quite the expression, thumb up my butt, now that I think about it, is work on this bed for the main bedroom. And also, I mean, I felt kind of weird about just leaving it, doing the kids' beds and not finishing out this bed at least. It's like the two rooms are done, but one has a built-in bed and one doesn't. So it's what I'm going to be working on today. So Spencer has all his pieces cut for the bed and he's just about to start assembling it. I feel like this size bed is going to be perfect for the space though, because originally we were thinking about doing a queen and then realizing like how much room that would take up. Pretty much to the door. Yeah, it would it would be way too tight and, oh my gosh, it's pulling my hair. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, because the size mattress that we decided to go with is a full XL, which we didn't even know that that existed because originally we we're like, oh, we might have to just do a full. And we're very happy about it. Give us those extra inches to keep your toes on the bed. <laughs> you make it sound like I have really long toes. <laughs> this, is, this is literally all just for his toes. <laughs> Yeah, it's so crazy because his feet are actually really small, but he has really long toes. I'm over here just trying to enjoy the weather. <laughs> it feels so nice out. I do have nice. long toes, but not how she's describing. <laughs> Half your foot is just a toe. We'll show people, but we'll charge them. <laughs> frame is all done. It's just now on to figure out drawers and how to access that back space back there. Because this is a small cabin and it would be really nice to utilize that, especially for like bedding and stuff. That's my biggest concern. So this is going to have six drawers, three drawers wide and then one on top of the other. So six total. But the hard thing is, is just getting to that space back there. So what I think I'm going to do is pretty much make a remo removable sections of slats, roughly as wide as the drawers themselves. And then just in order to make it accessible, kind of slide the drawers out, remove that section of slats. Then you'll have to step into where the drawer would be and then access your items that way. Not perfect by any means, but it at least makes that rear space accessible. So you do want to do six drawers, not eight? No. Yeah, less drawers to build. Right. Yeah, I think 
six will definitely be enough for me. For you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll give you one. <laughs> Trying to get B-roll with a kick and chicken on me is very difficult. Can you tell I have a kick and chicken on me? Are you helping mama film? You're doing such a good job. You're doing such a good job. You're a good helper, as long as you're not kicking. <laughs> So the bed frame is done, and now on to what makes or breaks the whole project. I think so far it's turned out phenomenal, but what makes or breaks it is the drawers. Not only how uniformed and flush they are with the face of the, the bed itself, but also straightness and all of that and just functional. So I have three drawers done and I still got three drawers to make, but before I start on those other three, I kind of want to figure out what I'm doing for the pool. So I don't want to do any hardware one just because that's, that's an extra trip to the store and money when I could save the money and just kind of cut it out itself. But also too is to save absolutely as much space as possible. Because I mean, you only have a little over three feet in between the bed and that wall. So I use, I don't know, an inch, three quarters of an inch on this side. I have something to constantly get caught on, hit ankles on while you're changing or whatnot. And then also you got another three quarters of an inch or so for baseboard or anything on the other wall. So. The wall just quickly shrinks, or the, the that space quickly shrinks. So, just trying to save just a little bit of space and a little bit of money. So, what's the idea? Are you going trying to go for the same kind of look that you did with the kids' bunk cutouts for the railing? Yeah, pretty much the top of their uh, ladder. It's like a half circle notch. So that's kind of a, the look I'm going for. So. Right, this is more of like a U. Yeah. Yeah. A really fat U. Did you just call me fat? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and another reason that he's really trying to be conscious of space in our bedroom is because being able to put a pack and play in there, and I'm already worried and thinking it's gonna be pretty tight, so the last thing that we need is hardware protruding from the bed. And I did tell him, I was like, oh, well, if it doesn't fit, you can always just build a little crib, a custom crib here. So now he's very motivated <laughs> to, to not have to do that. Something that we'll use for... I know, our kids grow so fast. Six months. <laughs> I know. It would be beautiful though. <laughs> I'm burning bridges with society 
Oh, my heart can't be tamed, it keeps pulling me across the canyon into the great unknown, into the wild, to the wild, to the wild I go. To the wild I go oh, oh. It's time to break free From all that's holding me I'm letting go, letting go Of all I'm supposed to be It's time to give up Definitely needs the actual full-size mattress. There's some uh, excess room. Oh yeah. So we just put this mattress on here for. The... Does it look like the camera's pointing up? No. <laughs> so we just put this mattress on here for the time being because this one is actually for the camper because that one in there it just sucks. Sucks. <laughs> really uncomfortable. So we got a new mattress for that. We still have to get one for this, but. Yeah, that one's a full in the camper. This one's a full XL, so that's why it doesn't look quite right. Yeah, that's why it looks small within this <laughs> bed frame. But yeah, so the bed is done. What do you think about the back storage area? Are you happy with it? Uh, as happy as I can be. Uh, <laughs> so that, it's just small space. So there's a little bit less room than I even anticipated. So having to physically remove the drawer, I just assumed I would be able to step to the side of it and then step behind it. But at the end of the day, we're not gonna be using that too much. It's gonna be for bedding and things you don't use very often. <sighs> as simple as that. <laughs> it just felt like a huge waste of space if I didn't utilize it. Right. And plus, where would we put our bedding? That's true. We only have one tiny closet. Yeah, and four beds. But yeah, now that the bed is all done, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update because the whole reason that we even started on this bed was because we were waiting on the interior doors to come in. But what happened with that? So I had ordered them and I didn't get an email uh, saying that they were on back order or anything. So I assumed everything was okay. Well, the time came and went to where they were, the time period that they gave me for when they were supposed to ship out. So I reached out and turns out they're on back order and wouldn't be in until the end of the month. And that's into them, so who knows when we actually would have got them. So we're like, right. nope, cancel it and we'll worry about it during over winter. Yeah, so all that being said, we're not waiting on the doors anymore, which means that we were able to reach out to a company about moving the shipping container and it is officially happening next week. Yep, it's gonna be weird. No longer having this container in the yard. It'll be nice. Yeah, it will. It's been a long time coming. Seriously. 